Well, I have a word to release to you today. Praise the Lord. This is the word that God gave me. This will be a slam dunk season for you. Thank you, Jesus. Okay, I'm excited about this word. Now, I don't know if you play basketball, but if you do or if you watch it, there is such a move. It's called a slam dunk. It is when the player jumps up airborne, up over the net, and then drives the ball down with the force of their hands. And it's called a slam dunk. Thank you, Jesus. Because God wants to know that is the kind of victory that he is giving you in this season. Can you say amen with me here? Touch and agree. It will be a slam dunk season for you. And that is a crowd pleaser move in basketball. That is something that gets people cheering, standing up in their seats. Why? Because it is extraordinary. It is spectacular. And the Lord wants you to know it's going to be a slam dunk season for you. Now, you might be thinking, I haven't had anything like that in a long time. I haven't been able to have a slam dunk for three years, five years, 15 years. But let me tell you, God has a victory of victories planned for you. And he is going to make an extraordinary show, a crowd pleasing, crowd applaud, applauding time where it will be so obvious that God has his hand on you because it's a supernatural move. Okay, I also have a scripture here that I want to read to reinforce. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Yes, thank you, Jesus. I just feel the Holy Spirit all over this right now. I'm telling you. Okay, I know it's an unusual word, but you know something? We serve an unusual God, and he doesn't have to do it the same way twice. I'm telling you, he has got some moves coming up for you that haven't even been seen. I has not seen nor ear heard the things that God has in store, the slam dunk victories. I'm talking about a slam dunk anointing over you right now in the name of Jesus that will defy the odds, that will defy the plans and schemes of the enemy and what the devil has tried to do and how the devil has tried to win over you win over you child of god no 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 that's not the way this is going to work you have the victory in jesus name you are the one who is conquering over all your opponents in the mighty name of jesus i just received this for myself right now let me read to you <laughs> thank you lord second samuel chapter 8 verse 14 this is talking about David. Now, we know David had a lot of enemies. That's why he wrote about his enemies so much in the Psalms. I mean, when you read the Psalms, you think, my goodness, this man of God was surrounded. He was always crying out to God about the enemy, right? And that's how we feel sometimes. I know I feel like that sometimes, like I'm surrounded, outnumbered. Uh, okay, so in 2 Samuel chapter 8, it talks about David's victories, victories, victory in Jesus' name. I just declare that over you right now. And David had enemies, but he had so many victories. It was unheard of, okay? It says in verse 14, he put garrisons throughout Edom and all the Edomites became subject to David. But hear this, the Lord gave David victory wherever he went. Victory wherever he went. And I prophesy over you right now in the name of Jesus, as I've been sent to decree and declare over you 
victory everywhere you go. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Oh, yes. Okay, so you see the Philistines were taking territory. But when David came on the scene, there was a slam dunk victory in store. And he began to take territory back from the enemy. And that's what I'm seeing right now in this season. That God's people are going to take back territory. They, that's, that's what it is about advancing the kingdom of God. Is It's a territory taking assignment that you're on. And you know something? God wanted the Israelites to be so blessed that they would be standing out amongst the other nations. And the Lord wants you to stand out amongst the people of the world so that they will look at you and say, you must be doing something right. And you can say, it's the God that I serve that gives me the slam dunk victory. Amen. And so God wanted Israel to have a strength. And the word he gave me was dominance. Dominance. D-O-M-I-N-A-N-C-E. Dominance. So not only did David conquer the Philistines, but he also conquered the Moabites, and then he conquered the Edomites. This was all just in the one chapter where the Lord gave him victory everywhere he went. So I am talking about a slam dunk season. I'm talking about dominance. Dominance means that you have power and you have influence. And everywhere you go, I just pray right now that it will be manifested the dominance being the anointing that gives you power and influence and victory everywhere you go so i'm talking about a slam dunk victory in your personal life i'm talking about a slam dunk victory in your business a slam dunk victory in your financial affairs, in your investments, in um, your ministry, okay? Whatever your kingdom assignment is, is your ministry, whether it be whatever mountain of the seven mountains that you're called to take and to be part of, media, entertainment, arts, creativity, business, innovation, inventions, I speak over you, slam dunk, awe, awe making, so people will stand in awe, and you see this, now I'm going to finish with this, okay, so the player jumps up in the air, so what I see there is, I'm getting a vi vision of that basketball player, and he is jumping up in the air, he is airborne, why, because what is causing the victories to come to you is that you are being elevated to a higher realm in the spiritual dimension. You are airborne. You are raised up and you're going to have a slam dunk victory from that position because your victory is being won in the realm of the spirit because your help comes from the Lord above, maker of heaven and earth. That's why you lift up your eyes to the hills. From where does my help come? My help is not coming from down here. My help is coming from up there. Thank you, Jesus. Because I'm walking in the realm of the spirit. And also, I see finally here, it's a very effective way of winning in the game, winning in the battle, winning the game of life, winning the battles of life. The Lord gives you a slam dunk because it is an effective strategy. And the Lord is giving you an effective 
strategy in this season. He is giving you winning strategies. Just lift up your hands and declare these things with me as I'm speaking them. God, I thank you for effective strategies. I thank you for giving me victory everywhere I go. I thank you for innovation, unusual ways. You see, there was a time when nobody had ever done a slam dunk. And then one day, someone stepped out into a different zone of basketball. And they gave birth to something new, something different, something powerful. And this is what God is giving you. Hallelujah, Jesus. I pray you're blessed by this because God has given you something that was never thought of before. They will be speechless because what you are doing is coming out of the realm of the spirit. It's kingdom. Thank you, Jesus. I pray that blesses you. God bless you. I love you. Thank you for subscribing and for all you do and say. And I thank you for everything that you're doing as unto the Lord in this season. And yes, I do thank those of you who have supported the ministry. And I pray a hundredfold increase over you in Jesus' mighty name. And I am praying and declaring your victory in every avenue of your life. So I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.